So I'm starting a new project. I'm going to make a grandfather clock uh, based on this book by Timmons. It's a good reference. You can see here what I've got drawn up so far. Uh, slight modifications, but the book really gives you all the, uh, all the things you need. And I thought I'd start making some parts. So I wanted to make this barrel. It's kind of a fun part to make. And you can see I'm going to try a 3D contour um, on it with a CNC. So first thing is to uh, get the material ready. So I purchased this uh, tube. I typically get these uh, online. There's lots of places where you can buy this brass. And first thing is squaring up the edges. So you can see here with an indicator, um, get that thing running fairly true. When it doesn't, you know, you can see here I've got a little piece of wood, a little bit of uh, persuasion, and you can pretty easily get these things running uh, true. You want it at least within a within a thou, and this this isn't that critical for concentricity because it's just putting these grooves uh, where the weight lines are gonna are gonna fit in. Need to make two of these, of course, one for the going train and one for the strike. So first thing when you get it square is cut one end off. When one end's cut off, it gets easier because then you can use the chuck uh, to square that end up against. You can see there's a small gap in the back, so it's free to float. But now this one, you can push, once it's nice and clean, you can push it all the way up against that uh, shoulder. That way, you know, you've got two ends that are, that are square and true. So just simply clean that off. You need to be careful doing that because you'll easily get cut. But now I've got a, a good blank. And now I need to mount it on a mandrel because I've got to hold on to this to be able to put it in the mill with the forced axis. So here is a, a part I used to cut wheels, just an aluminum part. goes down to a one-inch collet. So a little bit of Loctite around that. I already checked that it was a good fit on the ID of that, uh, of that brass tube. So I had already checked that, uh, that that was running true in the collet. So now you can see when I bring it over the fourth axis, I check again. And it's a little bit off. But again, you can get that seeing where the high spot is, you can hammer that down. You can see there about a half a thou, five thou, excuse me. You can see there, it's, it's pretty good. I'm within a thousandths on the length of that, so no problem. This I go in with the probe um, to make sure that the setup um, has got the right point. You see first in there, I kiss the X and find the X as that edge. And then the Y and the Z. Uh, what's nice about the Tormac, it's got programs for that probe. So you just set it and it's going to go find the center of this part. The center of that rotational axis. You know, otherwise, this takes you some time to get it right. You don't need a probe, but boy, it makes it easier. And now come down and do the cutting. I did this cutting in three passes. It's a total of only eight and a half thousandths. Um, that bit is spinning at 10,000 RPM. It's a bullnose uh, one eighth inch three fluted bit. And first I came down five thou, then eight thou, and then a half a thou uh, finishing cut. You see, of course, this is sped up. I use that DICOM to make sure that um, you're blanking out. It's going edge to edge. So you can see here, there's still a little bit of blue in between. That's because that was only a 5,000th cut. With all the cuts, you can see it comes out clean, nice finish. Here you need to drill a hole for the line. It needs to be in an angle. So you can see I put it in a 5C uh, holding block. So you keep it fixtured. And it makes pretty easy uh, work of coming down. It's running 3,000 RPM. That's a 1 16th inch drill bit. And here's the parts. I parted them off. 
a uh, little bit of polish there's more polishing to do uh, but you can see uh, made nice work out of it nice start to the clock hope you enjoy